When it comes to Thunderbolt dock power, there's two main methods. Dedicated power, which has enough power reserved to provide full energy to all ports at once, and dynamic power, which does not. Let's see why that difference matters. Here's a dynamically powered dock. It has a 135 watt power supply, which is the maximum amount of power the entire dock can use at any given time. The host computer port can use up to 96 watts at full power. The dock also has three Thunderbolt ports, each able to provide up to 15 watts. Making full use of just these four ports already leaves us with a power budget deficit, and that's without considering any other sources of power draw. That missing power has to come from somewhere, and in this case, it comes from the host charger. When a dynamically powered dock wants to pull more than its power supply supports, the host charging capabilities could decrease. Doing the same math on the TS4 shows a much different story. The TS4's 230 watt dedicated charging system means that there's more than enough power for every single port on the dock to be powered all at the same time. So now you know that 